Hi everyone, welcome to episode number one of the Build Podcast, a semi-weekly podcast where I'll be introducing you one new tool each episode for us to build something. So let's get started. For the very first episode, I thought of sharing with you what is the Web Development Console all about. So let's say we are on this very interesting page, the Flickr interesting page, and we want to know more about this page. What about this little sentence here? Get more interesting photos from the last seven days. So what I'm going to do is right click and inspect element. I am on the Chrome browser currently and this will open up a lower panel with the HTML on the left hand side and as I hover over the different structures you will see the blue highlight on them and on the right hand side there is the CSS. A very convenient way to manipulate the HTML is actually to just edit it right here. Get more photos. So let me just delete this interesting word here and enter. You see that immediately the word is changed. What about this value reload? Let's say instead of reload is I want to see. And immediately the text changes here. It's really a very quick way for us to see and amend the HTML before we go back to our development files to change it. What about CSS? Let's inspect element, right click and inspect element once again. And over here you will see that a hover, the background color, the font size, and what if I want to change this to red? Let's see. Okay, I'm probably not choosing the right one. Let me choose this one. Okay, here, the color is red. And I'll just click it once and change it to red. You see, immediately see the change right here. What about font size? There you go, the font size is right here. So I will use my up and down arrows to just change this. Very neat. The next panel is inside the CSS. What I really like is this matrix panel, which shows the entire CSS box model. So let's say if you go to this image, it will show you that it is 240 by 159 with no padding, no border, no margin. What if you want some margin? You can just put it here, top margin of 20 pixel, and you will immediately see that this picture has a top margin. What if you want to also add some elements, let's say a border. So I'm going to change it to 5 pixels solid green. And immediately, once again, you will see the changes here. All the pictures will have green border. Very neat way to manipulate our DOM and design. Let's go to CSS, sorry, under resources, you see images and scripts. There is networking. Huh, under scripts. So under scripts, you can actually also type it in right here. Of course, if it is something that you want to manipulate, you will see it on the screen here as well. The other neat little thing that I really like is that if you, the script you are viewing is minified like this, all squashed up together, you can click this little link over here and it will prettify it for you. Prettify meaning it will make it readable for you with proper indentation. Lastly, I'd like to go through the console. So if you are using a lot of JavaScripts, you can type in console.log and all the console.log elements will come up here. But what I really like to do is query the DOM like this, document.body.inner, let's say I want inner text. And if I do that, you will see all the text over here gets written here. So it's really a very quick way to manipulate the DOM. Also, even from my first panel, which is the elements, I can actually invoke the console like this, just by clicking it like this. And there is a neat little way. If you, let's say, click this one, and if you do $0 in the console, it will sprout out the entire HTML, exactly like what's here. What if you want to copy this out? You just put copy $0, enter. And this will be copied to your clipboard and later you can come to your text editor and just paste it right here. So that's what uh, an inspector 
web development console of a browser can do. Of course, there are tons of other ways where you can learn more in the Chrome developer tool overview, which I will link to the show notes. So let's get to Firefox. In Firefox, there is something very similar that I like to use, and it is called the Firebug. And after you install the Firebug, you can do something very similar. You can just right click in the element that you want to inspect, you want to manipulate, and then you do inspect element with Firebug. And once you do that, you will also get a lower panel, very similar looking like the Chrome. And you can also edit and add your elements right here. And there is also the CSS and the DOM. So after Firefox, what about Opera? Opera has something very similar. So we are in Opera right now, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to this photo and do inspect element. And once you do that, you will also have a very similar looking lower panel that will pop up. And on the left, you will have the HTML and CSS. Very neat. For more information on the Opera side, you can also go to the Opera Developer Tools website, which I will also link to the show notes. And lastly, let's go to Safari. So in Safari, let the page load. If I go right click and come on, if I go right click, I will not see anything here. That's because you will have to go to File. Sorry, you have to go to Safari, Preferences, and you have to go to Advanced. And you have to check this Show Develop menu in the menu bar. And once you do that, you will have this Develop menu that you can use. It has various user agents to simulate various types of devices and browsers. But it's the same thing for inspecting the HTML and JavaScript and CSS. So you can also do inspect element here. And it will also open up like Chrome looking inspector element right at the bottom. So the tabs are actually very similar to Chrome. So that's how you can develop in Safari. So that's about it for the four browsers that you viewed. I thought of linking in the show notes two more resources. One is the Google Chrome Developer Tools 12 Tricks by Paul Irish Video. And the other one is if you're really into JavaScript, you can also learn how to use the console better. And Paul Irish also does a video. And I myself do not know all uh, the tools and stuff you can do in the console. And finally, I wanted to go to this link of the episode, which is called When We Build. It's a very beautiful and inspiring talk by Wilson Miner. Especially uh, at eighth minute, he made a very nice video about human beings and building we as tool builders. So do check it out. That's it for this episode and see you on the second episode. Goodbye.